Welcome to France and to Brittany on its northwest coast and the University Town of Vannes, where the Star de la Rabine hosts the final round of matches featuring the all important decider between New Zealand and Ireland in Pool B. All hands to the pump here as they come again through Manihira this time. High in the tackle, Hickey. But Ireland up very quickly on the New Zealand uh, outside half. He's done well though to uh, make the ball available. Edwards in his favourite position at eight. Ficinia was there a foot in touch? No, there wasn't. And over in the corner for the first try goes. Uh, Patrick, big pat, two Ipolo two. We'll see it here. Savia sees it's on, and it comes out. There's a big carry in there into contact by Edwards. Again, it's cleared away. Hickey uh, spraying the balls out wide, but it's an interception by Farrell. Farrell is away into the 22. Can he get there? Yes, he can. And Ireland have struck back. The squad members on their feet. The ever alert to Thomas Farrell. Well, we can say it's totally against the runner play, but you've got to say, Hickey here just forcing the play. Tupaluto not going for that one. The bounce pass is often dangerous for the defending side. In this occasion here, it's bounced up beautifully into the hands of Farrell, and he wasn't going to be stopped from 55 out. Okay. Still playing penalty advantage to Black. Weber comes up from fullback, and they'll get the penalty. Outside. The pressure telling on the Irish defence. Caught offside. Simon Hickey keeps his eyes on the ball, eyes on the prize as well as New Zealand uh, go back into the lead. Touch, set, square. Ready, ready, on. Aduli doing well. Uh, Popping Sonny Mafilio out of the scrum there, and Ireland and Man Short here in midfield as uh, Emery looks to probe the weakness. Weber to Latu. Now then, there's the uh, gap going to open for the uh, the burly wing three quarter, battling away there. The young man born and raised in uh, Tonga. Good work, Hickey into midfield where Joe Edwards waits. That's very impressive and number eight uh, forward Hickey. Misses out Tripolo to on the loop there was uh, Collins over in the corner. Has to be a try, surely. And it is uh, claimed there by the hooker. Epalahame Faiba. The take by Edwards. Quickly into midfield. Collins to Weber, lovely hands from Joe Weber. Ficinia trying to turn leader inside out to the try line. Now then, try. We just see here, there it is, a lovely delivery of the ball. Have a look, Hickey does extremely well. It's a Collins gives a beautiful ball. What makes this try? OK, it's a brilliant athlete on the end to be able to take the line and just power his way through. But what makes it was the depth allowed the execution there. The quality of the pass, everything was flat, fast and in front. And that is exactly what you're looking for. Add to that the power on the end of the line. Now we add the extra two points. New Zealand are squeezing the life out of them. They certainly are right down the front and he's over once again. Is he the hooker? Fiver. A well constructed try down the front of the lineout, although Ian Davis will consult with his referee's assistant before making his final judgment. 
Have a look at this. Jordan Mani here. Uh, back to uh, Hame Fiver. Ireland still plugging away. Doing well in the uh, scrums. Scandal on to uh, Farrell again, looking for his second. Now, where are the supporting runners? He looked left, he looked right, and no one had called for the ball, but it's there still for Van der Flyer. Well, Ireland, they will never give up, that's for sure. Burn, that's the uh, Hands away, Brian Burn, that is. No, no. And he is the slightly shorter and lighter of the two skulls. And Levy, could this be the start of the fight back by Ireland? Black Momentum Black. is with Ireland here, and the crowd are right behind them as Timmins goes into contact. Cosby has a go himself. And saw that. Uh, the pass, the flight of uh, his pass might well be blocked. Burn, head down, and the try is there! No, 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 he can place in any direction. Scannell, shielding his eyes against the sun. And Ireland edging ever closer to that seven-point margin. Eight points the difference, 14 minutes to go. New Zealand 31, Ireland 23. If Ireland can get that fourth try, well, you never know then what might happen. That's Murphy. They have the penalty advantage. And this could be interesting. Scannell. <whistles> Referee Davis please. will call them back. Oh, oh, it's a yellow card. card. And it's the replacement, it's Nick ball. Grogan. Scannell could be a crucial kick. Will it get there? Just drops some. No, it doesn't. It's over. What a fantastic kick that was from young Rory Scannell. Release Black. Ireland just can't make the breakthrough. 11 phases of play as we approach the 80 minutes. It's a penalty for New Zealand. And Ireland will have to wait and see what happens in the other matches played today. We came out firing, and uh, especially after that second half, you know, uh, we wanted to make a statement, and, uh, you know, we kind of let the foot off the uh, pedal uh, towards the end, but, you know, it's finals footy, and uh, we're just happy to get the win and move on to the semis.